This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those of you who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, look for the Teachable Moments that are all around you. Enjoy. Moses Whitman Health System, and our name reminds us every day of not just how we got here, but how we'll push forward. Through our groundbreaking approach to health care and our commitment to staying grounded in who we do it for. segment of Marriage, Family, and Relationships from Beyond Today, um, their publication, uh, Marriage and Family, The Missing Dimension. We're going to focus on family, and we're very brief, this is a very brief segment. We're going to talk a little bit further about the epidemic of missing fathers. Now, Dr. Wade Horn, which is an assistant secretary for children and families in the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, addressed the connections between people who are fatherless, okay, and those criminal behavior. Okay, so there's a correlation, there's a connection between the two, okay, and he addressed this in a speech that he did in 2002, okay. He said that the father being fatherless and the prison population are at all-time highs. Now, I'm going to read an excerpt from his speech, if I will. The most consequential social trend of our time is the dramatic increase in the number of children growing up without a father or father-absent families. Now, we're going to look at 1960, okay? And this number stood at less than 10 million. That's still a lot, right? But today is 24 million. This means that tonight, one out of every three children in America will go to bed in a home that's absent of their father. And it's not just that these kids are going to bed without their fathers tonight. 40% of the children who don't live with their fathers haven't seen their father during the past year. And one half have never set foot in their father's home. Studies find that children who live apart from their biological fathers are on an average uh, five to six times as likely to be poor. They are twice as likely to suffer physical or emotional neglect, uh, to manifest emotional or behavioral disorders, including suicidal behavior, okay, Um, to abuse alcohol or illegal drugs, to be suspended or expelled from school, or to drop out and at least twice as likely to end up in, as we've already touched on, jail, okay? Now, here's a few findings from the research. According to Princeton University study, each each year spent with a dad in the home increased the odds of future, okay? I'm sorry, without a dad in the home, increased the odds of future incarceration by 5%. So, let me make sure I got that right. So according to this Princeton University study, each year spent without some without your dad, okay, in the home, increase the odds of future incarceration by 5%. Now, according to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, 70% of juveniles in state reform institutions grew up in single parent or no parent situations and 53% of state prison inmates grew up apart from their fathers. Indeed, the National Center of Fathers and Families reports that the typical male prison inmate grew up in a single-parent, mother-headed home and has at least one close relative who has been incarcerated. We hear a lot about that last factor, the father or other close relative who was in prison, okay? But we don't hear nearly enough about the other interrelated factor, growing up without a dad. And it looks like they cite um, a particular reference 
uh, entitled Responsible Fatherhood and the Role of the Family. Um, and it's from 2002, um, September 30th. Um, what well, the whole thing is from this particular conference um, on um, violent offender reentry um, and the whole thing with the missing, the epidemic of missing fathers and how it impacts our um, prison system. just listening to Teachable Moments with April podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on our other social media platforms such as TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, check us out on our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place. You can leave messages and give feedback and more. Thank you.